Hey YouTubers, good morning. This is Rob Muffet. Today I'm going to show you how I made a, a solar still to distill water from a discarded water bottles. I haven't seen anybody use this design before. It's pretty cool. It's low maintenance. Once you fill it up, the you don't have to replace the, the collection bottle for days. Um, I get about, in eight hours, I got about 50 mLs. That's not too much, but when you consider it's just from one bottle, if you, you've made a bunch of bottles, you could get quite a lot of water over a time and, and you use uh, the space because you're hanging these you're not putting them on the ground you can put them along a fence or a wall or the southern part of trees branches uh, it, it's pretty handy uh, there's advantage disadvantage I'll go over that in description box uh, in the area after the video is over you can read about m more information on this design but in this video we'll just talk about how I made a design the first design I made was a uh, with a smaller collection bottle I just cut the bottom off of a, a three liter bottle and that bottom became the top of the design and the, the the top became the bottom of the design. I'll show you. You're also going to use the smaller bottles as a collection bottle and you're going to put one part of the bottle in the larger bottle uh, to have your wastewater, or the water you're going to distill. Now I used the hot glue to attach it but if you don't want hot glue inside the still uh, because of contamination you could use some little wooden inserts. This is the uh, the little water bottle that's inside that's going to have the water you're going to distill out. And we're just using hot glue to glue everything together. Now once you're done you want to put the top on which is the old bottom and you're going to put a hole in, in the bottom of that part to put a PVC pipe down. If you don't have PVC pipe you could use hollow bamboo or elderberry stems or any other material that's hollow. Now that PVC goes in the top and that's going to be the spout that you can fill up your wastewater and it's going to have glue sealed around the edges so water can't leak down into it. And that's just about it. That's how simple it is. Now this seam here, I learned later, you need to seal this up because when the water heats up, the vapor is going to come out the seam and the wind blows over it and it's going to suck all the hot air out. The cap, I also use the hot glue. You want to score these caps to make them rough so the glue sticks better and w once you glue them together just put a hole through so the liquid that drains in can go into the bottom of the collection bottle and you also need to put a little tiny hole in the collection bottle so it when the pressure builds up from the water going in the air can escape just tie some string on so you can hang it and once you have it you can you can hang it on the fences or the branches on the south side of a tree or our walls or any wasted space that gets some really good sun. Now when I took mine out for the first day with the little small water bottle inside it uh, it didn't get very much condensation and the reason it didn't was first of all the the surface area is so small of, of the water also, I, because this tape wasn't on the top, it wasn't sealed tight. So I wasn't too happy with the first design because there wasn't much water in there or surface area. So what I did is I increased the surface area by adding some cardboard and I changed the container from the small water bottle to a 2 liter bottle. And if you look at the cardboard, once it gets wet, it, it creates a surface area that's not only on both sides of the cardboard, it's on the interior too, so you're dramatically increasing the surface area of where the water can be uh, evaporated from. And a 2 liter fits down inside a 3 liter bottle very nicely. And once this gets wet, it's like a wick and it, it's going to be great for evaporating. But I was thinking about this now that the cardboard's in there and the, the bottle's wider, 
the condensation from the top, when it drips down, it's going to go back into the wastewater. So what I did is I cut out some pieces of plastic on the side, and then I bent them in. This way, when the water drips down from the top, it won't go back into the wastewater. It'll go down into the collection area, into the collection bottle. And I'm still using the same PVC tube. Like I said, if you don't have PVC, you could use bamboo or elderberry stem or anything that's hollow. To attach or insert the uh, the, the steel inside the, the the big bottle, what I did is I put some uh, hot glue on on the bottom. But you don't have to do that. You could just put some wooden inserts around the perimeter. That way, it would stabilize it and keep it centered and you wouldn't worry about contamination from the hot glue, even though the hot glue is pretty non-toxic. And there it is. I, I put some tape on the bottom to keep the air from evaporating, going out the uh, the seam. When the wind blows over it, it was really sucking all the, the moist air out. It wasn't condensing as good. And you need a nice big hole for the water to drain out to the bottom. Also, that bottom collection bottle should be covered up with paint or foil or something. It would, would help it from uh, keep it from being uh, evaporated again by the sun. And once you're done, put it up, hang it in the sun somewhere, and it started condensing right away. This is the first day I used it. The first day I used it, I got about 36 mLs in 8 hours. The second day, I got about 50 mLs. The cardboard really helped increase the, the, the area that uh, was evaporating. Also, if you look here, I try to be smart, and sometimes you're too smart. I put little holes here on the top so where if it rained, the water would drain down and, and collect, and I'd collect more fresh water that way. But when I put the holes there, it was allowing all the moist air to escape, and it wasn't condensing like it should. So sometimes you're too smart. I still might experiment some more. It might be a way I could do this and still have it drain down and not have the hot air escape. And by putting it up in the air, you're safe from animals. <laughs> and you want to put a top over the PVC top, too. I forgot about that. So there it is, guys. It's a pretty simple design. Anybody can make it. A little kid, if you can tie shoes or heat up a can of soup, you can make this design. And if you got all your materials assembled together, you could make a dozen of them in an hour. They're, you could put them together really quick. And if you have some wasted space, you can hang these up and fill it up with the, the wastewater. And then every week or so, every seven, eight days, empty out to have a, probably a brand new bottle of, of distilled water at the bottom. This is something I haven't seen anybody else try or do. I thought I'd put it out there to see what you guys think. Hope this helps you guys. Hope you come back and watch more of my videos. Also, I've got a playlist of over 100 videos of things you can do with bottles. Um, and I've got a lot of other playlists, and I add new videos every week. If you like my videos, hope you subscribe. If you like this video and it might help somebody who doesn't have clean water um, or who might be in a situation where they need to make their own water, uh, you can send this to them. They might like it. Thanks, everybody. Like I said, I hope it helps. And please feel free to comment if you have any ways you think you can improve on a design. Thanks, everybody. See you next week.